And welcome to WVVH-TV's coverage of the New York Boat Show. Another year, this is Carrie Wabel, who's going to be our host. You know this show, and you're a part of the New York Boat Show, and this is a, a great show. It is. It's the Progressive Insurance New York Boat Show. It's our 114th year. It's a New York tradition since 1905 and we have lots of innovation lots of new products and really everything you need in boating all right so stay with us you're watching wvvh tv's coverage of the new york boat show a lot to see that's true so check this out we're at progressive boat school and there's tons of fun for the kids or just those of us who like to act like kids this is a new virtual boating game it's an oculus rift virtual reality experience so you put this on and see that you can start to see how it will go and that boat guns out of the gate and you race the clock and it's incredible i mean for those of us that love this virtual reality it's it's just an amazing fun experience there are more than 350 boats for every budget and lifestyle so if you're shopping you're going to get the best deal of the year whether you're shopping for a six thousand dollar personal watercraft or a 1.6 million dollar yacht so this is six thousand dollars yep it's just under six, I believe, and this is the Sea Dew Spark. It's an entry level personal watercraft that you can just get out in the water and have some fun. But the funny thing about personal watercraft is that it's just the innovation is bringing everything to the next level. And they actually just worked on and introduced here at the show the Sea Dew Fish Pro, which is a personal watercraft that has all of the amenities of a fishing boat. So it has a fish finder, it has a fish box and cooler on the back. It has, you know, all this space for your rods. And here it is. And wow. Isn't it incredible? Look at this. It's yeah. all rigged out with exactly. coolers and... Exactly. And this is less than $15,000. So suddenly you're in a watercraft that you can cruise, you can fish, you can have a complete blast, and it has this Garmin fish finder on it. I mean, I want to say like a real boat, but a personal watercraft is a boat, you know? It's just you don't think of it as one. So what is it? These are speakers? Speakers, yes. Look and the stability this. is out of this world. You now, just can't even believe it. How many it. people can, can... Two riders, but it's also safe to take out on your own, you know, because you can absolutely just be out and you have all of the things that you need to fish. So every kind of boat you want is going to be here. Here we see a Chris Craft, gorgeous American-made craftsmanship. And, of course, we know them at Dave Bothell Marine right in Southampton. Look at the gorgeous teak deck on this boat. It's just incredible. I mean, the styling. Chris Craft has always had that look. It's Americana. It's Americana, and it's so beautiful. They're fun to be out on, too. We had a chance to go out on one this summer out of SAG, and it was just a beautiful day. Headed over to the North Fork, chilled out a little bit. That must be cool. You're heading north from SAG to the North Fork, and uh, you could really uh, cut, a, cut a path with this. Definitely. Let's go look at some of the other boats at the show. So, of course, we have, we looked at Personal Watercraft. This is the gorgeous Chris Craft booth. We have Boston Whaler, and that's representative of probably 100, nearly 100 different center console boats that are here at the show. The center console category is very popular in New York because the style of boat and the fact that you can be in our bays or you can go offshore is really important to New Yorkers, especially out east. Well, Boston Whaler has always been represented here at the New York Boat Show. Yep. And a, a real favorite of our viewers. Is it? It really is. I can understand why. It's what a is it, the price brand. point? I mean, it's not that our viewers, they can afford anything and everything, uh, many of them. Well, I but think this it's is historic. Cool. Yeah, Whaler is a very historic brand. They've been around for, I don't want to quote the years, but I can remember it was their 50th or 60th anniversary within the last 10 years. So they've been around a very long time. And I think it's also the range of models that they have. I mean, here you're looking at a 160 Super Sport, which is just a nice little get around the bay boat. And then you see these huge center consoles. You know, up in the back, there's a, I think it's a 42. It's a Boston Outrage 420, which is a 42 foot center console. So, and they have everything in between, you know? So I think that's pop you know, possibly the popularity among your viewers because they can start with one and graduate up or maybe they're going to have a 160 Sport for their kids and this is going to be their family boat, you know? So it's a terrific group and a terrific uh, brand and we're proud to have them here at the show. Boston Whaler, very well represented here 
at the uh, New York Boat Show. It sounds like it's one of your favorites, Ernie. Are you? You're a big whaler fan. You know, You've been from out when on one? we were kids, yes. Yeah. And you know, I we had, uh, you know, in the family, and it was always, it wasn't expensive. Yep. And we always remember that you can cut it in half and yeah. it'll still float. Yeah. You know, and it, somebody was always trying to cut it in half, but uh, we never let them do it. But it's, it's American, and yeah. these are American-made, and that's the beauty of boating here in, in New York and here at the New York International uh, Boat Show, is that you guys are, are an American product that has uh, survived ups, downs, but now I think we're up. Yeah, we are up. We're actually, uh, 2018 marks the seventh consecutive year of sales growth in the boating industry in the U.S., and as you said, so you're looking at the helm here, which is fully equipped, all the technology you need, and really very well appointed. And I'm actually standing downstairs in the cabin where we have a full head. There's a little berth back here, galley kitchen, sitting area. This is really a boat that you can go out with the family for the day. And if you want, if somebody wants to duck down and take a nap, or even if you wanted to have an overnight, it's a fantastic, comfortable. I mean, look at all of this seating here. There's a lot of pillows right here, but there's a lot of seating um, that you can really enjoy. It's nice. It's well designed. And this is so high. So we're here with Steve Anthony from Formula. And you can see we're surrounded by gorgeous formula boats and yachts that range from 31 feet up to 45 45 feet. And really, there's a lot of different types of boats here, right? Tell yes. us a little bit about the range of, of things we can see in the formula booth. So we have a lot of diversity here in our display. Uh, we started our 31 bow rider, 33, 35. A couple of what we have is now powered by outboards. So we offer it in both stern drive and outboard power. Over here we have our cruisers, which is more of our, our popular and has been around for a long time, then our all-new 430 SSC and our new 400 SSC. So those are the newest boats in our fleet, and that is the most in demand. All right, we're going to take a look at the 430, this SSC. one, SSC. You know what I'd really like about it, those headlamps. I mean, that's a nice feature. Yes. A nice feature in a boat to see those, uh, I mean, they're... Uh, those are, uh, co those are LED docking lights. Isn't that cool? Yes. I mean, yeah, the docking. It's that's an innovation. I know, and they do so much around the docking, yeah, right? A lot of the boats actually, have, like, backup cams, forward cams for docking. That's actually one of the million options on this boat. Yeah. So, <laughs> it, yeah, so this being the biggest of our fleet, this is, you know, you're in the Rolls Royce right here. As you walk up and approach, as you can see just approaching the boat, how beautiful it is. It has the high-end Imran paint that fades. This is actually an upgraded paint. It's called Fusion. It goes from... The, it starts at the bow, which is a light silver, and it fades to a dark charcoal. It's this like the ombre in fashion. Yeah, that's very that's nice. How, that's how you sell all the, all the wipes on the boat. So just one of the many features when you get on, as we board the back, you'll see it has a leaning post, which is a very popular option. It has all the right. quad 400 outboards. Well, let's take a look. Painted to match. That's so, excellent. A lot, and, a lot of dock appeal as you walk up. And you described this to us one time as a three-in-one boat. What do you yeah, mean by so that? Really, in this boat, it's so unique, and you know, took this, this boat has taken the, the boating industry by storm. So as you approach this boat, you, have, you virtually have three boats in one. It's a 43-foot bow rider here in the cockpit. It's a full coupe glass enclosure with hard top, as you see it like on our 45 yacht. So it has a nice, pla it has a nice uh, entertaining platform on board, 14 to 15 comfortably, has cockpit air, air conditioning heat, it has... Uh, Wait, 14 or 15 comfortably? Let's just take a pause there. So we can bring 14 or 15 people aboard for the day, yes. but then maybe we drop them off, and then my family's just going to stay overnight? Tell us how that... So that's the big third part of this boat. So we have a nice mid-cabin downstairs that has a nice queen berth, and we have our forward dinette that goes from a dining table, lowers, and it turns right into a sleeper as well, so it sleeps forward comfortably as well. On this boat... No amenity has been left out. This has satellite television. This has more than anything you can imagine. It even has iPad connectivity. So everything on the boat, from my, from my air conditioning to my switches, you name it, it's all ran off the iPad. That's incredible. It's really, you know, the technology aboard all of our boats at the show, and it's fun to see it here on Formula, is over the top. I mean, innovation is it's speeding up. Yes. I remember years back when it was like, ooh, a joystick dock, or ooh, we have this new electronic. Yes. But now the speed is like, no, let's just add this and this and this, right? Yes, and that's pretty much what you have on this boat. Anything you can imagine, anything we can put onto this boat, 
It has it. So even from the joystick, this has automatic trim tabs that balance the boat out. Even to the Sea Keeper 6, which is a gyro stabilization ball. So whether you're in flat water or four to five foot waves, that roll, it eliminates side to side roll. So you get anybody that has their sea legs or has never been on and gets seasick, that eliminates all that for you. That's so great and very high performance. You mentioned the engines as we got on, but I know a lot of people on in boating are all about power and it's all about outboards and yes. so I need to give it a minute. Tell us about it. Yeah, so with this, this is the biggest of the baddest engines for Mercury. They're the Merc 400s. So with this, you're looking at 1,600 horsepower total. We'll push this boat to a whopping 64 miles an hour and a little uh, cherry on top. The engines are painted to match the boat. So it's, it's fantastic. Like, that's, that's your jewelry for the boat, as you say. We'd love to see you. Thank right, you so Karen, much. You mentioned one other feature. Now I'm interviewing you. What's <laughs> happening here? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I can only ask questions. You guys have the answers. But there was something about a mixer. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I do love, I think everyone's going to love Bonus this. Question. Hidden somewhere on this boat is a blender for which I call a margarita mixer. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. I remember now. This one? Yeah, come on. Uh, this one? Waldo. Come on. Come on. Oh! I mean, <laughs> who doesn't want this on their boat? No this is like my out. very, very favorite thing that I found. It's so fun. <laughs> so we are on a Mastercraft X24, and this is a great example of a wake sports boat. So wake sports means water skiing, wakeboarding, and of course wake surfing, which has become one of the hottest trends in boating over the last few years. So what that means is manufacturers are now trying to make the wake and the waves better and better on these boats. Longer waves, more controlled waves, and really combining the surf lifestyle and the boating lifestyle. Well, this is huge because you know where we are. Yeah. Out in the Hamptons. Everyone has a surfboard or... Yep. Or a, uh, I mean short board, long short board, 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 all kinds board. of boards. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually a trend that they're starting to do long boarding in wake surfing, which is a very funny thing because long boarding is very much a sur actual surf, you know. Wake surfing started out on a short board style, and now they're getting into long board competitions and things like that, and that's because the technology is giving them the waves they want in any body of water. Now, can you water ski with this boat? Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, like I said before, you can do anything in any boat. You could just cruise in this boat, but this is one of those very specialty boats that if you're serious about wake sports, you want a boat that's serious about it, too. Mastercraft. Yep. American-made. Yes, it is made in America, I believe. I'm going to have the state wrong, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but it is American-made. And, of course, it's offered out in Hampton Bays. Excellent. At Hampton Watercraft, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. Those waves, it's part of why they can use the wake to create waves as a ballast system that's pushing the water down. So the boat is engineered to create a wave, so you have that added pleasure of creating your own wake. Exactly, exactly. And it's amazing. I tried it, actually, out at Hampton Watercraft in Hampton Bays one summer. And it's a lot easier than you would think. You know, I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. And they put you in the water, and it's very natural. You have a tow rope, and it just pulls you up really gently like water skiing does. And all of a sudden, you let go of that rope, and you're surfing. It's, it's kind of incredible. Your family loves boating. You're a boating family. We absolutely are, and all of our friends are, too. I mean, living in Sag Harbor, how could you not want to be on the water all the time? But in Sag Harbor, just for the benefit of our, our audience outside of the... Uh, you have some massive vessels out there, massive boats, because you've got the billionaires come during the, uh, during the summer. During the season, yeah, you do see obviously a lot of yachts and even super yachts there, but you also see out at the docks, you know, just your center consoles and wake sports boats and personal watercraft and things that we can cruise around the bay in. Now, are yachts and super yachts represented here? at the New York Boat Show? So technically a yacht is anything over 26 feet. So they're well represented here because we have everything from, you know, 16 feet in the personal watercraft all the way up to 53 feet in a motor yacht here. And so it's, you know, yachts are well represented, but it's funny because when you think yacht, you don't think 26 to 53 feet, you think 90 feet. But when you really get into that category, it's super yachts. And we're mostly about something that's, you know, 
around the 70 feet or less category. Carrie, what are we looking at? So we're in the West Marine booth, and West Marine is representative of a lot of the gear that you're going to find at the show. It's not only about boats. We have all kinds of electronics represented and all of the things that boaters need for their boats. You know, boaters who already own what they love and aren't coming here to shop for a new boat, they just love to come and get all of the other bells and whistles. So, you know, this is like this awesome grill that you can add on to your boat and lamps and um, electronics and, of course, some nice sunglasses and some boating fashion. Um, and I see they're also running a sweepstakes through Sunday where you can win a $4,000 boating dream package. So that's fun. Wow. That's a good giveaway. Yeah, it is. It is. And you find that throughout the show, you know, that people are really just inviting you into the boating lifestyle in every... Well, look at this. this I is, know. Uh... It's great. This is super all weather. This is great stuff. And, of course, you've got your Yeti coolers, which, you know, everyone has. Don't leave home without them. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go check out some of the electronics? Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, great. Garmin, what a name, and in boating, Premier. Absolutely, and it's really representative of the technology side of what we have here at the Progressive Insurance New York Boat Show. They really have, I'm going to take over for you if that's all right, because I want Chris to tell us all about what we're looking at here. You know, Chris, Sorry. hi. 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 Uh, we tend to think that we can go anywhere with our cell phones and we can text and we can share on social media, but if we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean boating, maybe not. Maybe not, but with our InReach Mini from Garmin, you can, or at least you'll be able to communicate via text messaging. Satellite communication anywhere in the world via text messaging as well as SOS, uh, emergency services anywhere in the world, whether you're skiing, hiking, biking, or sailing in the middle of the ocean. If there's an emergency, the inReach has you covered. So this is good for like the around the world racing. Like a lot of people oh, yeah. are very into that. It's like exactly. the competitive spirit in, in recreation is something like that. Exactly. And it's a fairly inexpensive product, only about $379. And then it's a $15 a month to $99 a month service cost, depending on the type of service that you want. To hook it up. That's cool. And then what is all of this other radar and sonar and everything that we're looking at? This is really a lot of new technology. Exactly. So this is our new for 2019 GPS map 8600 series. So we have our 8600 10, 12, and 16, okay. uh, as well as uh, some of our watches that we're showcasing here, especially for the marine environment, like our Aquatics 5 Sapphire. This is pretty darn cool, this watch. This watch is an, um, not only is it a standard fitness watch and tells time, it's also an autopilot controller. So if you have a Garmin autopilot on board your boat, you can, um, you can control your autopilot, you can control your fusion stereo, as well as stream uh, boat depth and NEMA 2000 boat data to your watch. It's pretty cool. So you say control your autopilot from your watch. It sounds like I'm, like, what are you actually controlling? What's your autopilot? Let's say you have your autopilot engaged if you're out in the ocean and we're, if we're sailing and we're, we have a heading on the autopilot. It's like a cruise control. Exactly. And conditions change and you need to adjust your heading. You can just make the adjustment right on your watch. You never have to go back to your plotter. This is incredible. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for showing us all of this. It's really fantastic. Oh, you're welcome, Carrie. Oh, wait, we forgot something. We forgot a... We don't want to forget about the FLIR thermal imaging. I know you can integrate this into your Garmin systems, right? Tell us about it. Exactly. Garmin plotters have full integration with FLIR thermal imaging cameras. Um, as you can see here, we have one of our other um, uh, Garmin... Associates Ed, and you can see him on, <laughs> on our heat camera. Hi, Ed. Tell me what kind of situation you would use this in. Basically, it's great for use at night because it works off of heat. So any type of heat signature, especially like that cup of coffee. Um, oh, I see that. <laughs> yes, the cup of coffee is glowing white. Exactly. Okay, so that's representative of what we would see. Exactly. So if you're out in the middle of the ocean and somebody falls in the water, you'll be able to see them because they're warm and the ocean's cold. <laughs> That's excellent. Thank you so much, Chris, for showing oh, us you're all You're welcome, Carrie. So this is actually the Steiger craft. It's built on Long Island. How cool is that? Isn't huh? that incredible? Yeah, they've been built there for many years. It's a beautiful boat and fun to see something that's actually being built so close to home. And you could win this. You can? Yes. Look at this. You oh, my gosh. You could win an incredible boat. Oh, of course, because of the Long Island Fisherman. It's a fantastic fishing publication. That's great. I want to win this boat. <laughs> I probably get disqualified. Yeah, you'd be disqualified. <laughs> and I don't think they want media to win either. No. It should be our public, our, our 
Exactly, I love exactly. The public. Yeah, it's a fantastic boat, though. I love that it's built in New York. Ernie, you wanted to see a yacht. I've got one for you. This is the Galleon 470 Sky. It's more than 47 feet, and we're going to head inside and see it. It is luxury at every turn. Carrie, this is something special. I know. It's really all about entertainment on this boat. We're sitting at a little flip down bar, and this you can see straight into the galley kitchen, the salon. But also, what's interesting about this is that if you look at where we're sitting, this is actually the entire gunnel of the boat. The entire side of the boat flips down to create this larger deck space. So they call it beach mode, which is very fitting because all of a sudden you're by the beach, you drop anchor, you drop down the side of the boat at the push of a button and you create a little cocktail bar for yourself. Cocktails included. Yes, Cheers. Exactly. Cheers. Exactly. <laughs> so you can see, really, you can understand how it's extending your deck space, you know? And you have every amenity inside the boat. So this is, of course, the galley kitchen, entertainment center. You have a huge salon area where you can sit inside if you like. But actually, also inside, everything retracts. There's a retractable sunroof overhead. You can see all of these windows. You know, we're sitting in front of a flip down bar and then this window can close. So if you wanna be, you know, if you're somewhere Caribbean and you are in the heat and you wanna cool down, close it in, get some air conditioning, cool off, you know, and then get ready to hit the beach in the water again. Well, what you just mentioned, boating is international. So if you are here in New York and you own some a fabulous vessel like this. Right. Yes, you can go. Oh, absolutely. This would be fantastic to cruise down to Florida in and hit all the wonderful places along the East Coast on the way. It has everything you need. You know, it has three staterooms downstairs and two heads. I believe there's even a washer dryer on board. Okay. So here at the helm, you have everything you need. Of course, your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled and your, you have your chart plotters and everything. But this boat actually also has remote controlled docking where you can be sitting on the back deck or up on the sky deck with your remote control and actually dock the boat. So we're below deck where we have three staterooms. I'm standing inside a very spacious head and we're going to take a look at the master stateroom. Let's do that. Where you also have a master bath with full stand-up shower and really bigger than you would imagine being able to find on a 47-foot boat. It's really intentionally they've created this space in a way that you can use it everywhere. This is the master suite. Of course, you have your master bed, tons of closet space. You also have this little window seat, which, you know, if we were out at sea, you'd be looking right out to the water, right out to the blue skies. And I'm sitting at this little area that personally, it looks like it's a vanity, but personally, I would use it to get a little work done if I needed to while I was out to sea. And I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm out on the water having fun. So this is the guest stateroom, and you see it's full beam, very spacious to welcome friends aboard. And we also have a little bunk room here, too, with two bunks. So it's plenty of sleeping. I mean, you can sleep six easily. The salon that we saw earlier, you can actually also fold that down into a bed if you really wanted to have more people on board. switch that you just push the button and then all your controls are turned on. So really boats for every budget and lifestyle and we're looking here at pontoon boats which are really designed to just kind of originally designed I should say to just kind of float about chill out be on a lake be on a very calm bay and just have fun with your family they've certainly come a long way in the technology and innovation department many of them are now um, we're looking at one with aluminum pontoons but they also have them in fiberglass and they have all the technologies that all the other boats have at the helm some of them even have joystick docking which is just an incredible thing because it's really just a very affordable and easy way to get out on the water with family Perfect. so we're looking at the yamaha 425 this is one of the hottest engines to hit the market in the last year i mean we see it hanging off of all of the center consoles and it's just been a really incredibly popular engine right oh absolutely this over here was built for a tremendous amount of torque you know, most of the manufacturers today 
are looking to put some exceptional horsepower on the back end, but coupled with that is the amount of torque that they want. This engine was designed from, essentially from the propeller up to go ahead and take care of the torque loads that are necessary for today's boats. And what does that torque do for us as boaters? What does well, it, what as it does, an end benefit when I'm on board? When we have torque, we, we need a, a pretty wide thrust column in order to push that much water, push that weight, because we're trying to lift those boats up out of the water. So with that, you need a large diameter prop, and you need the amount of strength to couple with that. I so, see, and we're looking at the inner workings of this 425, and it's pretty phenomenal to look at. What is, if, just point out one cool thing that's inside of this engine for us. Well, because of the larger engines, the gear case has always been an issue in terms of changing the gear loop. In this particular application, we have these hoses up here. Yep. One is a vent, one is a fill, as well as a drain. So we trim the engine up, and we take one side that says air, which is our vent. The other one is also a fill and a drain. So we'd put a suction on this side, drain the gear oil out. And then from there, that would allow air back into the case. All right, and then once we go ahead and we air purge all of it out, then from there, we fill through here, sends the oil down, and then from there, as the oil comes back up, gear case oil has been changed. We don't have to haul a boat. Oh. So we can do it while a boat is in the water. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, so I mean, has that capability. Okay. You've given us a lot of information here. I mean, when I'm on board, I'm not thinking about any of that, but thanks to you, sure. thanks to you for thinking about it for us. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. So now we're going to check out a different kind of personal watercraft. This is a stand-up jet ski. Tell us about it. Yes, this is the Kawasaki stand-up jet ski. It uh, goes up to 60 miles an hour. It's an individual sport. You go out there, and it's like working out on the water. And you get up, and you stand, and you could slalom. You could do a lot of tricks, jump waves. And this is uh, the four-stroke Kawasaki jet ski. We also have other models, of course, a sit-down model and different models. Uh, that's a three-seater for uh, more of the family. But this is the, un the individual uh, young, aggressive athlete. That's fun. I never really thought of it about being a workout on the water. A fun way to do it, be outside, get your sun, get your waves on the stand-up jet ski. That's right. You could uh, get, your, get your sun and you could jump waves and do slalom and all of those things all at the same time. Fun. Thanks for showing us. No problem. Thank you. All right. So we're in down mode. And then if I want to stand up, oh, okay, almost. <laughs> Carrie, I've got my waterproof suit on. Let's go. We're going to end this on a sporty note aboard the Yamaha EX Deluxe. It's a very cool wave runner and just something we can go out and have a lot of fun on the water. Speaking of fun, it's so great working with you. This, uh, this boat show is outstanding. Thank we you. invite our viewers. There's more information. You have a website? Yep, nyboatshow.com. We are here through Sunday, and we hope to see everyone at the show. Carrie, if not for you... It wouldn't be such a great show for us because you know this show, and uh, we thank you. What are the hours that the boat show is open? So we open at 10 each day this weekend on Saturday and Sunday, longer hours on Saturday, so you can check it all out on the website. And the tickets are just $16, and kids 12 and under get in free. Thank you. Carrie, we're here at the New York Boat Show. But this is not a boat. We have the 350 boats for everybody in lifestyle, and now we have an amphibious plane right here in the lobby. This is the Icon A5. It's pretty phenomenal. Just with the touch of your hand, you lift up, and you see you're basically in the cockpit of an airplane. Take a look in here. You have all of the gauges, all of the controls in this two-passenger plane, and it's designed to basically take off and land by... I should say, on land or on sea, so you can really take it anywhere. The coolest thing about it, and we're going to have Gary help us here and demonstrate, is that it's very portable. You know, everything is carbon fiber, and these wings actually fold back. So you're going to see that they fold back. This is just going to pull it out with a quick pull, flip it toward us, and then he just walks it back to the back of the plane, and it hooks right in. So suddenly, you have I mean, it's reasonable if I'm buying one of these. I think that's pretty reasonable. You have 
have a, an amphibious plane. So it's, it's very exciting getting new meaning to the term wheels up. If you'd like more information, the website is nyboatshow.com. For WBBH-TV, I'm Ernie Shemizi.